demonstrate this morning is the super premium heavy duty twist drill. This twist drill is domestic made, features a 135 degree split point with a self centering point. What that does is it eliminates the need for a center punch. It also allows you to be able to drill on rounded surfaces such as drilling through the side of a bolt. You'll notice the gold amber color. What that does is it uh, promotes lubricity so that when the drill is drilling through the piece of metal, mm -hmm. it reduces friction, producing less smoke, which means that the drill bit won't burn up. Last well, a little bit longer, won't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Um, what we're gonna drill today is a 316 stainless steel set screw. I'm sure you know that drilling through stainless steel can be one of the tougher things to have to drill through. Sure can. The reason it's so difficult is because stainless steel is a work hardened steel. What that means, the hotter it gets, the harder it gets. So what we have is a uh, drill chucked up already, stainless steel set screw. You want to go in at a nice slow pace and really lean into it. No reason to race through. What you want to do is be able to see the chips get pulled out as they go. So we're going to just start nice and slow into this. And you can see these chips starting to wind its way out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the drill for a second, take it out, take a look at the hole. You can see that we're doing a nice job pulling that material out. Oh wow, that is something. You can also take a look at the drill bit. It's not getting purple at the top. Yeah, it's not, and touch doesn't, it. Doesn't even look dull. And touch that. Still cool to touch. Cool to touch. <laughs> and we haven't used any lubricant at all. We always recommend a lubricant, yeah. but this is to show you that it's not necessarily, uh, not necessary to use, especially given um, this, as I mentioned earlier, the lubricity, um, which is, uh, which comes from the gold amber color in this. Right. So we've let the set screw, screw uh, cool down a little bit. Right. Now we're going to go back, finish the job off. Now we kick it in, and we're through. Amazing. We pull that out. You can see that we are straight through on that. That's something. Now I'm going to show you one other really cool thing about these drills is you tap on it like this. You can see the drill bit flexing. Yeah, I can see that. That's because this is made of really high molly tool steel. They use this in skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. And what that means is it's really strong, but very flexible. Uh, it's not brittle, which would be the opposite. Uh, cobalt drills are excellent on stainless steel, but they're more brittle. Right. Um, with the high molly tool steel, they're really strong, but very flexible, which means it'll give with the piece that you're, uh, that you're drilling, meaning, if I got a little bit out of line here with a more brittle tool, if you get out of line, it's going to snap that drill yeah. bit right along uh, the shaft right in here, yeah, right I've along seen, the flutes. I've seen it happen. Because yeah. the flutes here are the weakest part of the drill. Now, and just to show you that this drill still has a lot of life left to it, I'm going to take this out. We're going to put in this heavy duty block of tool steel right here, about a half inch thick. Again, no uh, center punch needed. So it shouldn't walk on us here. Again, the slow speed and the heavy speed. Wow. Nice and round. Nice and smooth. That's it. Still cool to touch. Still cool to touch. <laughs>